Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about one of my favorite niche houses, Serge Lutens. If this is a house that you're looking into exploring, then please keep on watching. I have five full bottles and one sample to talk about. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Maite, I review fragrances and products. I love all things that smell good. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and click the little notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I upload every Monday and Wednesday at four. So the fragrance that started it off for me is actually a sample that I have not purchased a full bottle of because I just recently retested it and um, actually fell in love with it because the first time I smelled it, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I put the sample away and forgot all about it for months and months and I recently you know, put it on and now I love it. So, you know, I recommend that if, you know, there's something that you've smelled and you didn't like at first, kind of put it away for a little while and retest it just to make sure. Um, I think my nose was just not evolved enough to be able to grasp um, this scent. Serge Lutens have very, I think, challenging compositions. Um, they're pretty affordable, I think, for a niche house. So this is why I say, it might be a nice one to start off with because they're affordable from FragranceNet. Um, that's where I've gotten all of mine and they're challenging. So, you know, I definitely wanted to like venture out and test new things, something, things that I didn't, you know, smell everywhere. And these are definitely hitting the mark for me. Um, so the first one is Le, Le Par Miss John, I hope I do you proud. <laughs> Four years of French. Le Participe Passe. How did I do? It's a fragrance, a fruity gourmand that focuses more like on the caramel and the fruity notes. There is a green kind of earthy undertone. The notes are artemisia, bergamot, pepper, fruity notes, Egyptian balsam, resins, caramel, cumin, leather, and patchouli. You can kind of see it's a pretty dark um, juice. It's very resinous, very rich, very unique composition. Again, you're going to see that throughout this whole video is um, just the notes. It's very hard to visualize what these fragrances are going to smell like. This is the only one that wouldn't be a blind buy for me. And I'm kind of glad because I may have been disappointed. But now that I've been able to kind of spend some time with it and fully appreciate it, um, I do absolutely want to add a bottle of this. Next up is Santal Majuscule. Now I've seen really amazing reviews for this one. So it was a blind buy. The rest of these are blind buys and I'm so happy. It, there's only three notes listed, cocoa, damask rose, and sandalwood. And I get a lot of the sandalwood, but I almost get a coconut kind of vibe from it. Um, the cocoa doesn't really like scream at me but I can see how it gives it kind of this like chocolatey undertone. Um, and yeah, the rose is very prominent and the sandalwood is very prominent to me. Um, this is also a very beautiful one. I think it's, it leans a tiny bit masculine actually. Um, it smells really, really nice on my husband, but I love wearing it as well. Um, pretty long lasting. Um, the first one I talked about, um, kind of average longevity, but this one lasts quite a long time, especially on clothes. So that is Santal Majuscule. Next up, one of my favorite ambers is Shergi. Shergi was love at first sniff. It was a blind buy. Um, and as soon as my husband and I smelled it, we were in love, both of us. He wears it, I wear it. Um, average longevity. Um, the star notes on this for me are the tobacco and the um, honey and the iris. Um, it does kind of have a tiny bit of powderiness but there's also incense, so it, I think it doesn't get too like baby powder. Um, it's more about the incense, I think. The notes on this one are tobacco leaf, honey, iris, sandalwood, amber, musk, incense, rose, and hay. So another amazing composition by Serge Lutens. And I would say this is a safe blind buy if you like kind of sweeter, tobacco and honey fragrances. Um, this is definitely, definitely um, a must for me. And I don't know why I didn't include it in my top 10 for life, but it is beautiful. It really is. Um, oh, yeah, just really comforting scent too. Next up, Um Vanille. 
Um, and I didn't mention this before, but the black labels are the newer formulations. If you have the older formulations and you've been able to kind of like test out the difference, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know. I don't know what the ones with the white labels smell like, um, so I cannot compare for you guys. But I love Umbo Vanilla. If you love sweet vanilla gourmands, this is also one that you must check out. It's a coconut vanilla. It is waxy. There's sandalwood in here. It's just very yummy, very yummy. I love wearing this one to bed. It is very sweet, like I said, um, just like the first one I talked about, um, uh, Le Participe Passe is also a gourmand and very sweet. Um, but if you love gourmands, then check out Umbo Avenue. The notes on this one are sandalwood, black licorice, coconut milk, beeswax, bitter almond, musk, vanilla, benzoin, guaiac wood, and tonka bean. Beautiful, I love it. Yeah, another blind buy that was successful from Serge Luton's. Next up, Vetiver Oriental. Now, if you guys know me, you know I love me some Vetiver. I love Vetiver, so I had to get Vetiver Oriental. Um, also gets really nice reviews. And to me, it's like a cross between um, Miller Harris Vetiver Insulant, which is a smoky Vetiver, and kind of um, Guerlain's vetiver just a vetiver not vetiver extreme which is more like citrusy and bright um and this is perfect like in between fragrance um so it is smoky but there's also kind of like a bright green quality to it if you see the juice is green as well um the notes on this one are herbal green juices iris woodsy notes of branches very specific woodsy notes of branches and then vetiver root, vetiver root, guaiac wood, chocolate, and then musk, amber, sandalwood, and labdanum. I love the dry down of this. It is very like rich and almost creamy um, and sweet, also sweet. So um, I think it is one of the best vetivers I have smelled. It is beautiful and I'm so happy to have it in my collection. If you love vetiver fragrances, um, this one is also a really nice unisex one. So check out Vetiver Oriental. Next up, Feminine Dubois. Now Feminine Dubois is not a safe blind buy. It is supposed to express the masculine side of femininity. So there is some dirty musk in here, which I think is where it tries to balance, you know, that masculine and feminine energy. Um, it is fruity, it is woody, it's floral, um, it's musky, and it's just everything that I love in a women's fragrance. Um, I, do, I do think it leans more feminine. I do think it would smell better on a woman, but obviously you wear what you want. Um, I, I just really, really am enjoying Feminine Dubois. At first I thought, oh boy, it's gonna get a little BO-ish on me, but it didn't, it never did. It always stayed a little skanky, but very subdued. It is a very provocative scent. Um, it's just amazing. <laughs> I uh, love, not love at first sniff, but love after the first wear, after it fully developed, and um, I was able to kind of like appreciate it for what it was, which is a feminine fragrance with masculine undertones. Now the notes on Feminine Dubois, I've like found different notes in different places. So I'm gonna read you the ones from base notes. Um, the base notes, uh, notes say bergamot, ginger, cinnamon, tarragon, cardamom, cedarwood, rosewood, peach, plum, orange blossom, violet, Oris, rose, jasmine, lang lang, carnation, mace, and then cedarwood, sandalwood, vanilla, benzoin, musk, patchouli, amber, and civet. Um, I think maybe the civet is where kind of like that dirtiness comes from, but again, just the fruity florals, the fruity and the florals and the woods all balance it out beautifully. And there's also maybe some clean musk in here as well. Uh, yeah, it's just such a such a beautiful, beautiful, balanced fragrance. I really, this, oh, is it my favorite from the house? It might be. It might be. I think this is my favorite to wear. Um, my favorite to like smell, just like, 
out of the bottle it might have to be shergi um but my favorite one to wear i think is feminine dubois um i've heard or i've read in the reviews that um this newer formulation with the black label versus the one with the white label is not as long lasting i don't have many issues with longevity it's not none of these are the longest lasting except for the vetiver one the vetiver uh, fragrance is actually pretty pretty long lasting um, but most vetivers are on me um, but this one may be six to eight hours which is I think really good and I wouldn't mind respraying it because it's beautiful it's beautiful um, and it's beautiful as it evolves I love it from beginning to end and I love fragrances that that bloom you know on the skin I don't like something that just kind of fades away I like something that gets better and better as I wear it so all right enough ranting on feminine Dubois Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you love any of these or if you know there's any that I didn't mention that you love and that I should try. There are a bunch of them. He has like, I think over 90 fragrances in his collection or something. I don't know, I, I see a lot on FragranceNet and I know I have to try them all, but they're not safe blind buys. I kind of know my taste and I know what I will like, but I'm still risking, you know, not loving something when I blind buy it. So I don't want you guys to take that risk if you don't have to, unless you're absolutely sure um, of your taste. Now you can go to Lucky Scent to get samples. There's plenty of other places that you can get samples as well. Um, I'll leave some places down below in the description box. As always, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and click the little notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. I upload every Monday and Wednesday at four. Have a great week, you guys. Mwah.